This is an important message to all public, Scientologists, ex-Scientologists, current sealed members and previous sealed members. I'm about to give to the public the true answer as to why the Church of Scientology International will not answer the question regarding the supposed and purported Xenu story of 75 million years ago. This is the true reason and I'll explain it now. Currently the public have been told that the Church of Scientology believes that on their operating Thetan level 3 that they uncover an incident whereby a galactic emperor called Xenu enslaves up to 13 trillion aliens and brings them to earth and then once they're here they're trapped in summary but what is the real reason why the Church of Scientology won't talk about it I'll explain this now and the shocking thing is is that most of the Scientologists that have in actual fact even done the Wall of Fire, OT3, do not even know this. The real reason is that in 1967 when L. Ron Hubbard created the Sea Organization aboard the boat and made himself a Commodore, a rank, a naval rank, a uh, leader of this cult called the Sea Organization, he outlined in a policy letter that he had uncovered that not only were psychiatrists apparently previous members of this galactic emperor's staff but that the World Bank and its members were also primary loyal officers of Xenu and that they were here back on earth to carry out this absurd mission of taking over humanity. He labelled all the World Bank leaders as members of the Xenu party. He also stated in this policy letter not a confidential teaching that Zunu was here on earth still to this day awaiting for them to gain control of the world finances and population. Within this he outlined that the Sea Org in actual reality its symbol is a laurel wreath of 26 leaves and a star. Each of the 26 leaves outlined one of the planets that the Sea Org must travel to over the next billion years in order to help these people. The reason for the billion year contract is not because it is some kind of a glib indication of their loyalty to the sea organization. It is an actual fact outlined in a policy letter that L. Ron Hubbard calculated it would take approximately one billion years to leave Earth and fix these other 25 planets including our own. There are no coincidences here. I'm telling the public this so that when you talk to a Scientologist, rather than talking to them about their OT3, talk to them about the SEAL policy letter which was written, which outlined that one, the World Banks are the number one cause of all problems on planet Earth, even though they haven't only existed up until the last 50 years, but they happen to have been the trouble for the world for the last 10,000 years, and that the Jewish community of Earth by L. Ron Hubbard and according to him are genetically selected by these uh, trapped uh, body thetans, these souls and spirits traveling the world so that Jewish people's bodies are primarily selected by these body thetans and are primarily the members and the loyal staff of Zenu who was here 75 million years ago and is still here today. He has labelled the entire Jewish community for selection for genocide. He is no different than Hitler. The Sea Organization's purpose is to tell members and keep them there on a, on a billion year contract for this precise reason. This is not theory, this is not conjecture. I have read the policy letters regarding this that are not released to the public. So, next time you approach a Scientologist in the media don't ask him about his religious beliefs in regards to Xenu. Ask him about the policy letters that founded the Sea Organization and the conversation covered with his public in his what is now known as Ron's Journal 67, a transcribed tape recording where he describes the Sea Org's responsibility 
to fix what happened here 75 million years ago. This is the true story behind Xenu and the real reason why the sea organization exists. Those few hundred people that joined him on those ships in 1967 and created the sea organization are truly insane, mad people bent on world domination. Thank you for your time. If you're a Scientologist just learning this, talk to your local Sea Org and ask for the policy letters referring to the, the conscription of the first ever Sea Org members. Thank you for your time.